have started a company called Historic Home Recyclers, and we recycle historic homes. I'd like to tell you the history of this home. We're going to move this home for a fellow. Uh, this house was built in the 1800s. It, uh, it has a lot of historical character. It had needed a lot of work. When we got it, it was not structurally sound, but as you can see, we're getting it structurally sound, getting it ready to move. Uh, historic Home Recyclers, we move homes, or we can deconstruct homes. Sometimes moving homes is impossible because of space issues. The tire in the older the neighborhood, and sometimes you can't get it on a truck. But this house we can, so we'll get this one on a truck in a couple of weeks from now. Um, the owner that had it before us actually gave me the house. He was in a situation where he wanted to make some green space here. Uh, he went to the to some of the historic boards, and they denied him the demolition. So he called me on the phone. And he said, "Listen, I got this historic home. I need to get it out of here. I'm in a, I'm in a situation. I can't move it." or I can't demo it, can you help me? So we worked it out, he, he gave me the house, and uh, we are now in the process of getting it ready to move. The house has, a, has this old cedar siding that we'll save. Uh, we are expecting the truck, what the truck will do is come in here, jack the house up, like it, it took a while to get the house structurally sound to be able to withstand the move, but it, it, it is there now. We have some cross bracing to do before, before it moves, but they'll come in, lift it up hydraulically, back the trailer underneath it, and uh, set it back down the trailer and go down the road. I have a lot, uh, it's actually pretty close to here, it's about four blocks away, so it makes it easy. So we'll go to that lot, the foundation is, is, uh, was poured about a week and a half ago, so it's cured. Uh, we had a set of plans drawn by a local historical guy. Uh, so they'll move it to the foundation and then they'll put it up on cribbing or put it up on blocks and then we'll build a foundation up to the height of the uh, up to our benchmark which is set by FEMA so we'll build it up to that FEMA height and they'll jack it down on our foundation and, uh, and that'll be that uh, but we'll probably renovate it to be a single it seems like the market here is uh, you know to make it a double again or, or to make it commercial is, is not the way the market is but it'll probably be a single we did lose a lot of historical structures after Katrina. It seemed like we were demoing at a, at a really good clip, but that was then. Now, it, it, I don't want to say it's the opposite, but we have some really preservation-minded groups or boards that control the permits. And just like this guy couldn't demo this house, they, it's becoming harder and harder to demo houses here, which is great. It's coming harder and harder. So this house moving or house deconstruction is really an alternative. I mean. We can move them. It's it's not uh, it's not hard. Uh, I'm, I mean, I've been doing it a while. It's not easy, but it's not hard, and it can be done. And it really is an alternative.